Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write an event handler for page related events. Suppose you want to perform some task on page create, page delete, or page modify. So you can write an event handler, which event handler will be listening for page related events. You can write your task in this event handler by listening page related events. So as part of this tutorial, I explain how you can write an event handler for page related events using OSGI API. Now, then I'll show you a demo how you can do that. I have already explained OSGI API for event handling, but let me reiterate a bit. So event handler are registered with the framework and provided with a event object. This event object will contain all the required information what you need to perform your task. So this how you can define like for what event this handler will be listening to that you can do using a property called event.topic. You can add this in at the rate at component annotation. The value of this will be the the topic and what kind of event you want to listen an event dot filter will filter the behavior of your event handler like under which path you want to listen now let's set up a go to demo and let me explain how you can write a event handler for page related events so I have written an event handler by implementing an event handler. So as soon as you implement this, you have to define, a, you have to add a method called handle event, which the framework provide a object event. Basically, this is the OSGI event object using this method, uh, page event dot from event. This method, you can convert OSGI event to a page event. So now this is a page event and from the page event, I'm getting a get modifications. Get modification method provide you a iterator of page modification object. Basically, this object will contain all the information uh, for the page event. You can iterate that iterator and you can get the required information. So what I'm doing here from the page uh, modification object, I'm getting the type means what kind of event it is and I'm getting what is the path of that page. And again, I'm just uh, getting the properties from the page modification object. I'm getting the event properties and I'm getting all the event properties. Please consider this. These are the event properties, not the property you added to that page. Now let me build it and show you by creating or deleting a page. I did not define any filter. So this event will be listening from any site or anywhere. So I define page dot event. So this event, this topic will make sure like it will be listening only for the page related events. Now build has been done and now let me create a page. one page has been created if I go to logs and you will see here here so see uh, the type is page created means even type is page created and the page is under form and test one and these are the properties like path is equal to this modification date is equal to this and type is equal to page created and user id is equal to admin now let me modify this page Just open this properties and add like page title so as soon as you save you will be seeing here the type is equal to page modified and page path was this and now you will see some additional properties the changes what properties has been changed so you will see i added page title so these are the other properties which are modified while i was modifying it so uh, now and the type is equal to page modified so now let me modify it again so that you can see if you add any property or update any property so this will give you exit the property so i added two properties navigation title and subtitle so if i save here and go to logs you will be seeing the two properties had been added nav title and subtitle and obviously this will be modified last modified so if i update something last modify will also update 
Now let me delete this page. So if I delete this page and go to logs, the whole information is available. Like it has been deleted. So this is the other these these logs from the different event handler. Let's start from here. So type is equal to deleted page deleted and which page has been deleted this page has been deleted and the other properties so this way you can listen for the page related event and you can get all the required information based on your information you getting from this event handler you can perform your task as per your need i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you